Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Uh, my name is Dan Casey. I'm here at my office in Bloomfield Hills. Um, I wanted to kind of give you a, a small excerpt from uh, one of my seminars, and it's about uh, long-term care insurance and some, kind of some cool ways to get it uh, without paying any premiums, right? People are sick of paying uh, insurance their whole life and not getting anything out of it. So um, insurance companies have gotten wise and started to come up with some cool ways uh, to do that. Uh, so these are some hidden benefits maybe of some other products um, that you didn't quite know offered long-term care also. So let's talk about this. Um, let's kind of get into long-term care a little bit just uh, to get some background. What is long-term care insurance? Well, who needs it? All right. So in general, um, those with very little assets, um, they'll qualify for Medicaid without a problem. Okay. They can usually shift their assets as most people know in the state of Michigan, you can own a home and one car. And um, if you're married, you divide your assets into on the day you go into a nursing home and um, it's under a certain limit this year, 2016, it's uh, 120,000 and some change. Um, if it's under that, um, the spend down is, you know, half of that. So it's uh, pretty easy to do that if you don't have a whole lot of assets. Okay. Uh, the next group is the wealthy. They can usually self-insure. So uh, without really dramatically depleting any of their assets either. Um, nursing home in the state of Michigan, according to the last MetLife um, survey was $90,000 a year. And that's not even a um, a private room, Medicaid room. Okay. So, um, but if you're wealthy, that's not a problem. And you can do that without depleting your assets too much. Of course, it's the people right in the middle, right? The middle class who have too many assets to, to qualify uh, to move, um, especially with that new five-year look back um, to qualify for Medicaid. Okay. So they're the ones stuck right in the middle. Um, well, let's talk about well, what are the odds of needing long-term care? Of course, um, you have the odds of your house burning down are three in 100, but I'm guaranteeing if you're watching this, you probably at least have homeowner's insurance, right? Um, the next is 18 out of 100 of totaling your car, but you probably have automobile insurance, right? So that's covered. Um, but the odds of you needing some sort of long-term care, if you're watching this video and over the age of 65, are 72 out of 100 that you're going to need some form of long-term care in your life. Um, but I guarantee you probably at least half of the people watching this video haven't even looked at the price of it, okay? So um, that's what I'm hoping to accomplish with this video. Uh, well, let's talk about what is long-term care insurance. Well, it's basically benefits paid out um, when some activities uh, can no longer be done. There's the five activities of daily living, um, and they consist of, you know, getting dressed yourself, being able to walk. Um, and if you can't do two out of those five, then you can qualify for long-term care insurance. Um, they can be used from everything from in-home care, so bringing someone in to maybe um, give you help if you have a spouse that's home, um, all the way up to a nursing home and everything in between, okay? The average benefits, usually the one that I start out with, um, are $100 a day, um, and they're set for a set limit. Again, it just depends on your budget and how much money we're working with, um, whether you know we do two years or three years or, or even a lifetime, but there's one product that does that, okay? And just as a side note, most of you who are watching this probably know that um, I'm an independent uh, guy. My, my company is not tied to anybody. It's my company. Um, I am not owned by an insurance company. I don't work for any insurance company. So I'm free to go out and shop for the best prices and the best product for my clients. Okay. That should probably be said. So let's talk about a couple cool ways insurance companies have come up with getting long-term care insurance with no premiums. Okay. So the first one is Let's assume that this is your portfolio. Maybe the purple is big companies and blue is small companies and brown is bonds and, and whatever it may be. But let's assume that this teal color, I guess that's teal, this one right here, um, say that's your conservative portion of your portfolio. Maybe it's making 2%, 3%, 4%, whatever it is. So an insurance company, what they've devised is it's usually like an annuity slash life insurance policy or it's some sort of hybrid. Um, and, and basically what they're doing is they're accelerating the death benefit. So they're giving you access to a death benefit before you die to give you benefits while you're alive to pay for long-term care insurance. So let's look at how this works. So say you have 150,000 sitting in there in that conservative portion of your portfolio. This amount can be anything, just using this as an example. So we put 150,000 into this particular product and that's a one-time payment, no premiums, we're done. What this allows you to do is you'll still get a basic return uh, for that product um, I'm sorry, for that amount of money, just 2 3%, like you were getting in your portfolio. But the idea is here, it's protecting your whole portfolio, right? Um, so it's protecting all of this um, with just portion of your portfolios. So it's, it's going to earn a basic rate of return. Um, sorry, let's get back to here. And um, for this particular illustration, it provides usually triple or quadruple whatever amount you put in, in long-term care benefits, and that's uh, immediately available. Okay, and again, it depends on your health, 
um, your age, uh, how much that actual figure is, but it's usually between uh, triple and quadruple, okay? You can request your initial $150,000 back and cancel product after it's somewhere usually between about the fourth and fifth year when I illustrate it. Um, all the fees have been paid enough to where you can get your $150,000 back without um, any penalty, okay? And you can also cover your spouse with this particular product, okay? So pretty cool there. That's one idea. Let's look at the next idea. This is pretty much a free benefit of an indexed annuity. Um, if you don't know what an indexed annuity is, you might want to check out my YouTube channel. Um, it's youtube.com slash Bridge River Advisors and uh, look at my video on annuities, the good, bad, and ugly. Um, so basically what, what this product does is an indexed annuity, um, and that's uh, the one that has no fees, um, and the balance uh, either goes up or sideways, okay? Um, never down. So it's a principal guaranteed product. So I know you're going to have some sort of benefits when this product's over. You just never know quite exactly what they're going to be. So let's start, say we start with 150,000. Let's say the market does this. So you'll get um, a portion of that. Usually it's about 60%, 70% of what the market does. Um, so say that's your balance now. Say the market then the next year goes up like this. You'll get a little bit of that also. So you can see your portfolio goes up. Then the market crashes or takes a serious correction your balance just stays the same, okay? That's one of the advantages of an indexed annuity. Then the market goes up, well, good news, you get to participate in that as well. So you can see that the account only goes sideways or up. So in this particular illustration that I ran, this is rough numbers, but you put in 150,000, 10 years later, um, you have $300,000. Now you could walk away with that amount, um, but I'm illustrating the free long-term care the benefits that are part of this policy. So what they say is you can walk away with that 300. You could turn on income if you wanted at $20,000 a year, and that's guaranteed for the rest of your life. You cannot live it. Um, and then if you want for a certain period of time, usually it's about five years, you could double that um, for long-term care benefits. So you need any kind of long-term care. Um, those benefits double for about approximately five years. Okay, so that's pretty big. And again, with no fees. So um, that's kind of cool. That's something I, I always look for with my clients is try to get the most I can out of life insurance companies um, and annuities. Um, I try to uh, abuse them for the benefit of my, of my clients. They might not want to hear that. But um, so this is a great product because it has no fees. And again, um, long term care. Now, I don't want to mislead anybody and say that this is the same thing as a good long term care policy because it's not. Um, but for no exam and for no fees, it's pretty hard to beat, okay? Um, let's move on. Let's look at just a regular long-term care policy that has premiums, okay? Um, so that one previous, just uh, again to, to reiterate, that had no premiums. It was just a one-time payment, okay? So long-term care with premiums. This is kind of the policies that we've all heard of. There's no lump sum. You just pay the premiums. Um, pre premiums can increase, but only on the whole class of people that you're in, so not individually. Um, they, you can establish a pool of funds to be used by both spouses. Um, the sweet spot's usually between 55 and 65. I've seen that with premiums around 3,500 to 5,500 a year. Okay, you start getting above 65 and they start um, jumping up uh, substantially, usually about 9% a year um, every birthday it goes up, okay? Um, so that's your basic long-term care policy. But I wanted to show you a cool way that sometimes when I have clients that want the ones that would just have policies or just have premiums, um, how we can set up your account to pay for those premiums, all right? So let's say we get a long-term care policy and the premium is $4,000 um, a year. So let's set aside enough money um, that is in income investments like dividends, um, utilities, banks, um, you know, safer stocks, uh, preferred shares, things like that, um, that pay a nice dividend. So let's put enough in there that pays the dividends to match the premium. We could have that dividend swept into a, a checking account or whatever. Um, and that's where the long-term care policy premiums could come right out. So pretty cool, I think. Um, cool way to, to have your money really work for you and pay for those premiums. And of course, you can cancel at any time. So um, there's there's no harm there. Um, but, uh, you know, a couple of cool ways to kind of get some long-term care without any benefits. Um, I'm sorry, without any premiums. Um, and this one has premiums. So just kind of a cool hidden benefit um, that you may not be aware of. Um, and again, I'm really going uh, over uh, some high-level stuff here. Uh, meaning, uh, you know, I'm not providing details. So don't make any decision based on just this short little video, please. Um, only act on an illustration um, provided by a company um, and read it thoroughly. Okay, so uh, all these all these numbers and facts and figures that I've thrown out are, are not guarantees by any means, um, but they are based on actual illustrations that I've run. But everybody's different, right? Health, age, everything like that. So I hope this was helpful. 
Um, if you like this video and you're watching it on YouTube, then go ahead and hit uh, subscribe and you'll be updated as I update uh, more videos in my YouTube channel to hopefully help those retiring or about to retire, uh, which is the sole client base um, that I have here at Bridge River Advisors. Thanks so much for joining me.